In this episode of Cars Plus, we're going to tell you a little history about Route 66, Seligman, Arizona, and the nostalgic and well-known Burma Shave signs. We'll even show you a little of the Burlington Northern and Santa Fe rail line that passes through this area. We're standing at an overpass above I-40 looking to the east at Ash Fork, Arizona. It is near here in Williams, Arizona where I-40 was completed in 1984. The completion of the Williams Six Mile section made that portion of I-40 to be the last to bypass Route 66. By 1985, 66 had been decertified by the American Association of State Highways and Transportation Officials. Route 66 had become famous as the Chicago to Los Angeles route, and by the hit song, Get Your Kicks on Route 66, the CBS Route 66 television series starring Martin Milner, George Maharis, and later Glenn Corbett, also by the novel Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. Beginning in 1924, Route 66 meandered a total of 2,400 miles. Tourism to the west and populations exploded greatly as motorists moved westward. The road brought prosperity to those who opened shop along her way, then disparity to those who fought to keep our mother road, as it was known to some, to stay open. US 66 served as a primary route for those who migrated west, especially during the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. Today, the longest remaining continuous section of historic Route 66 can still be seen and traveled upon between Flagstaff and Kingman taking us through smaller communities such as Parks, Williams, Ash Fork, Seligman, Peach Springs, Valentine, and Hackberry. One of the most clever advertising gimmicks of all time came from the Burma Shave Company. Burma Shave was introduced in 1925 by the Burma Vita Company of Minneapolis, owned by Clinton O'Dell. Beginning in 1926, on Highway 65 near Lakeville, Minnesota, Hundreds of small red and white signs dotted our highways as an advertising blitz. They were carefully placed along the shoulder of the highway in a sequence so that passing motorists would eagerly await the punchline followed by the brand name Burma Shave. They usually consisted of a total of six signs. One of the most notable highways where they could be seen was along the Mother Road, which carried travelers a fairly direct route through Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and into California, ending at the Pacific coast in Santa Monica. By the mid-20s, the automobile had become so reliable that countless Americans began taking road trips, which made our roads the ideal place to advertise. Two states in the contiguous United States didn't have signs, Nevada due to low traffic, and Massachusetts because of overgrowth and high land rent. What made Burma Shave appealing was that it didn't require a brush to apply it to the face before shaving. Burma Shave needed to come up with a way to promote the brushless shaving cream nationally and came up with its own billboard-like phenomenon. There is a list of 600 known Burma Shave sign sets. Some of the slogans were created by the company and others were created by ad professionals or contest winners. Early signs advertised the product and later on they advertised highway safety. Here are a few examples. Shaving brushes, you'll soon see them on the shelf in some museum, Burma Shave. Train approaching, whistle squealing, stop, avoid that rundown feeling. Burma Shave. Sales declined in the 1950s, and in 1963 the company was sold to Philip Morris. Its well-known advertising signs were removed at that time. The brand decreased in visibility and it eventually became property of the American Safety Razor Company. The Burma Shave signs that you see while visiting Seligman are replicas of the white letters on a red background. White on red was the most common color combination. They were seen in white on blue in South Dakota, so as not to compete with roadway warning signs. Orange and black signs could be seen in some states, but those colors were discontinued after only a few years. Originally, Sligman was called Prescott Junction because it was the railroad stop on the Santa Fe Mainline Junction with the Prescott and Arizona Central Railway Company feeder line running to Prescott in the Arizona Territory. 
In 1886, it was renamed Seligman after Jesse Seligman, one of the founders of J&W Seligman and Company of New York, who helped finance the railroad lines in the area. Because of its flat land, Seligman became a large switching yard consisting of many tracks and served as a large livestock shipping center for the area of ranches. Passenger trains ceased stopping in Seligman in 1984. The Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway, BNSF, has owned the tracks through town since. The historic district is along historic Route 66 in town, which was designated a historic highway by the state of Arizona in 1978. In 1987, Seligman gained its name, birthplace of historic Route 66, due to the efforts of Seligman residents, who convinced the state of Arizona to dedicate Route 66 a historic highway. Much of the video that you have seen here is an illustration of the architecture that you would have seen during the heyday of the Mother Road. Seligman has become the destination of tourists, car enthusiasts, who hold the annual Arizona Route 66 Fun Run and local residents who want to enjoy a nice drive, a burger, and some ice cream. We hope you've enjoyed this video and learned why Seligman and Route 66 give us a feeling of nostalgia. At Cars Plus, our mission is to teach and preserve automotive history and to publish how-to videos. We believe that the past is part of our future. If you share the same sentiment, please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you can enjoy more of our videos. Okay, I'm gonna start the camera. Oh, the camera's rolling. <laughs>